ready to go fishing. So today I'm out here with Massey and we're going to try over here by this beaver hut. There's lots of potential here and uh, let's just take a look and see what kind of fish we can find down here. I see little ones. Really little. So we're going to use a barbless hook when fishing with Young kids, it's always a good idea to use a barbless hook. Just in case an accident happens, you can easily get it right back out of your finger if you happen to put it in there. We've got a small little bell weight to get the uh, bait down. And we're gonna use a worm. Just a small piece of worm. Thread it through the hook. And you wanna put it on kind of like a sock and make sure you get it up far enough on the hook that the barbs that are up the shaft of the hook get into the worm to hold it on because you don't have that barb near the tip to hold the worm on. Just like that. Ready to go fishing, Massey? Put the worm down like this and when you get a fish, hook them. And if you have to reel in, Massey, you like this. Okay. Pull it! Pull it hard! Oh! Crank, crank. Ah. Oh, he got off! But are they fun to catch? Yeah. So we're about to have snack, which is a very important thing to have along with you when, you've, uh, when you're taking the kids out fishing. And uh, we want to make sure that their hands are clean. So bring along some hand sanitizer, some of the gel, some soap, uh, whatever you can get. Put your hands out, Massey. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Rub that, rub your hands together. Really good. Got a little towel here, wipe them off. And I'm gonna do the same before we get into the food. Some juice? Yeah. Do you want crackers and cheese or do you want some cookies? Or do you want to start with cra crackers and cheese? Uh, cookies. Do you want to start with cookies? Have a couple of crackers and cheese first. Okay. What kind of cheese do you like? Cheddar or mozzarella? I'm not sure what kind, but I would pick both kinds. Both kinds? On the same cracker? Yes. Wow. How many crackers do you want? Two? Three? I want to make a sandwich. <laughs> Whoa! That's not what I got! This is the bass. This is the bigger one. Yeah! Hey, nice job! Oh, nice one. Yeah! But we'd like to see them a little bit bigger. Yeah. We're gonna let it back in. We don't have anything for it to go in. Bring home. Whoa. Another bass. Pretty 
Just like that. Well, that's a darker one. That's, uh, that's the biggest perch I've ever seen in here. Yeah, that's a nice, a nice size perch. Yeah. Very nice perch. Whoa. Oh, that's smaller than the one I had. That's a pumpkin seed or a sunfish. Stay tuned for more fish tomography, but first we'd like to thank this episode's sponsors. Are you too busy to enjoy a walk through nature? Bond with your family? Head out on the lake. Or make a splash. Relax and find the vacation you are missing at the Bailey Mac Camp. You are never too young to start exploring. Remember the excitement of your first time going somewhere new? How about jumping in a lake? Or your first fish? Rekindle the passions of your youth on a Leech Island houseboat on Lake Tomogamy. Oh, hang on. Oh. And, and here's a demonstration of the barbless hook in action. And another one. Ah! It almost touched my coat. Well, that was even littler than the one I caught first. Oh. It's wiggling all over the over, place. Over here, over oh. Ah, it touched me. I, I heard it. It's right behind me. It's a and rock bass. Pretty big. Rock, it's a rock bass. Well, that one is not really big than I thought it would be. There are times when you really want a barbless hook, especially when fishing with kids who may not have the rod control that you do. Maybe you don't have rod control either, and uh, you want to use barbless hooks for yourself. But, uh, you know, they're easily obtained from tackle shops. Uh, if your local tackle shop happens to be out, don't worry. You can still make your own barbless hook. Uh, the barb is typically a very thin, small piece of metal. Right there is the barb. And that's what catches on stuff and allows the hook to not pack, get back out. And, uh, you know, if you are desperate, you can probably use just a hammer and a well-placed screwdriver to blunt it down. Uh, you can use a rat tail file, easily obtained from a hardware store. Uh, but today we'll use the Dremel. And, of course, when using a power tool like this, I like to wear a little bit of uh, safety gear. I highly recommend a pair of pliers because... Personally, I don't want to get my hand anywhere near something that's spinning fast enough to cause damage to my fingers. Mm -hmm. 
So we've taken the barb off this hook and we're going to test it out now, make sure that it uh, will come out nice and clean. Stick it into the package and pull it out and there's no resistance there. Uh, so it's nice, clean, smooth and I don't have to worry now if this happens to get into my finger that it's not going to come out. So if you happen to have a Dremel handy, uh, it definitely doesn't take long. I just did three hooks in not even two minutes. Uh, I used some South Bend regular South Bend number two hooks. Uh, going to be using bass, so they're they're nice big hook uh, for worms and uh, easily catch bass on them. Pickerel, good size snelled hook, and we'll be testing them out in this episode. So hopefully you enjoy this little tip, and uh, remember, stay safe while you're out there fishing.